Okay, so here's a simple tutorial for light streaks in um, Photoshop and Blender. Um, you will need Blender for them uh, because it's kind of, I guess you could call it a simulation, but you don't really need much knowledge. I'll go through everything. Okay, so here's a base, um, just a background. You will need to have it. Um, it's literally just blurred image and then colors fixed. Um, so yeah, open up Blender, you'll have this menu, um, just press A, X, delete, oh, that will delete everything in the scene, then go shift A, mesh, plane, uh, that's all you need for this, um, press tab, and then subdivide, then the menu will pop up here in the bottom left corner, turn that up to 3, then go to texture paint here, which will basically allow you to paint on this, um, panel, uh, click this Z to view it from the top, and then click here, new, uh, with there, where it says colour, click on it, and then turn the alpha down to zero, and then just call this light streaks, cool, now just draw any pattern on it, so it can just be anything that you like. Uh, go image, save, and just save it here, cool, then go to shading, up here, click new, and then you'll get this uh, material, just want to delete that, go shift A, and then type emission, plug this in, then here go shift A, and then search for image texture, and then click this little, I guess image button, uh, select the image you made, then go connect it here and you'll see you have it the image on your plane then go shift a type mix shader plug it into here and then go shift a transparent bstf plug this into the bottom of your shader and then here where it has alpha just drag the alpha dot into the factor uh, and then go here to your material settings uh, then go viewport display, yeah, uh, blend mode, alpha blend, uh, and then you'll see I've done it in the wrong order, so put the emission on the bottom, transparent on the top, there you go, cool, alright, uh, so now you have a transparent plane, so go to your scene render options, go to EV, maybe EV legacy if you're on 4.1, uh, set these to 2, uh, disable these, if they're enabled, um, film, transparent, this means your image will be transparent, um, then yeah, you should have this plane, cool, so, now, go to this little gear, and add, a, add modifier, array, you'll see it makes two copies, go to shift A, uh, curve, be bezier, and then just go tab, just go into edit mode, X, delete, and then just draw a curve. This can be temporary, doesn't matter. Click onto your plane again, go fit type, fit curve. Then it will say curve, just click the eyedropper, select a curve, and then you'll see it makes a uh, enough to fit on the curve. Uh, disable relative off offset and then go to constant offset, and then get rid of the x, 0, z, point naught 2. Uh, then go add modifier, and search for curve. Then select your curve object. This makes it fit on the um, curve. However, you'll need to change the deform axis, because as you can see right now, it's going here, you want it to go there. So you need to change it to z. There you go. Now and it follows the curve. Cool. Now you'll see where the camera is facing kind of directly out of planes. It like frays off. You want to stop that. So go add modifier, displace. Cool. Click new. There on this checker texture, go here and then I believe it's blend. Then progression spherical, there you go, 
uh, and then just drag this above all of your modifiers. So now, as you can see, it's one constant line. So now, uh, click the direction where you'd want to be facing the light streak, and then just go Shift A, camera, to add a camera, and press G, y, y, and then bring it back until it fits. Cool. Now, you can tweak the curve, so just make it whatever you want. I'm just going to do that. There you go. Um, and then to make this uh, scale up and down, what you can kind of do is go select the point that you want and press N to open up this menu and turn down the radius. So this kind of tapers it off so it gives that cool effect. And then you can also turn up the tilt, which rotates the curve. So again, go here, tilt, and then you can see it's rotating the. Um, the objects on the curve so you get this kind of cool effect um, but you'll notice it doesn't really have the um, light streaks going through it so what you want to do is go into shading again select your object go add another mix shader uh, put the transparency on the top mix shader on the bottom and go shift a map range uh, and then press shift a texture coordinates and then put normal into value and then just put the result into the factor there you go uh, and now you kind of have this sweeping effect uh, which is cool um, and then really all you need to do last is if you want color all you have to do is go shift a mix color pop this here drag this here Disconnect this, connect this to the emission, connect the color of your image to A on your mix, and then uh, set the alpha of the image to the factor, and then you can just change color from using this. So you can see you can have it red or whatever. However, f if you want it to dynamically change with the background, you want to keep it white. So that's what I'm going to do for now. Okay, so so once you have something you're happy with, just click render, render image. And you'll see you get this image of the light streak. So just go image, save as, call it something. So streak, I'm going to call it. And then make sure you have RGBA selected. Uh, this means it renders with an alpha channel. Click save as, and then go back into Photoshop and add your image. Cool. So now you have your image in your comp. Just just gonna center it and put it wherever you want to go to your blend modes and just go from normal to overlay. Cool. Now you can see it's just on there and it um, works with the light. You can go to different modes. Uh, you can see some of these look cool, I guess. Um, just do whatever works. Sometimes I'll go FX blending options and then hold um, alt and then select one of these and just drag it out and you can see it kind of blends it in really it just it's up to you what you do um, do everything's cool uh, yeah so that's how you make them cool